At the end of this week's parasha, Parashat HaZinu, Moshe is told to ascend the mountain and to see the land that he will not enter. The Torah says that you, like your brother Aaron, who did not enter the land, you too, Moses, will not enter the land. And the reason the Torah gives is, Allah Hashem Ma'al Tembi, because you trespassed against me, because you did not sanctify my name amongst the people. You'll see the land from a distance, from afar, but you will not enter. And what is interesting is that in next week's Torah reading, which is Vizot Bracha, the last parasha of the Torah, there Moses, we are told, ascends the mountain, and he sees the land. Naphtali, he sees Ephraim, he sees Menashe, Yehuda, Jericho. And God says to Moses, this is the land that I promised. Shenishbati, we Abraham, we Yitzchak, we Yaakov. Heriticha b'yeinecha v'shomer lo tavar. I have allowed you, I have caused you to see it with your own eyes, but there you will not enter. The two, the two descriptions are very different. The description in this week's parasha, in Hazinu, is about sin and consequence, sin and punishment. Because you trespassed against me, because you sinned, because you failed, as a consequence you will not enter the land, you and your brother Aaron. But in Bezot HaBracha, when Moses actually ascends the mountain, first of all, there's no mention of sin altogether. Simply, you will not enter. But the focus is much more on what he does see. That he's able actually to see everything. And furthermore, Moses' death is recorded. Moshe, whom the Torah calls Ebed Hashem, God's servant. And the Torah says, towards the end of the chapter, the last chapter of the Torah, that Yoshua, Moses' successor, was filled with wisdom of God, the Spirit of God, because Moses has placed his hands upon him. And all of Israel obeyed and did all that God had commanded Moshe. And it strikes me that the two descriptions of Moses are very much connected to the two parashiyot that we read. Parashat Zinu is about Israel, who will be unfaithful, who will turn away from God, the ensuing punishment, terrible punishment. And it's about, it's written as a, a warning to the people, and a, a testimony against us, which we should learn by heart, we should remember it. So in the context of sin and punishment, we have the description of Moses' inability to enter the land because of the sin that he and his brother committed. But in Zot HaBracha, the ending of the book of Dvarim, it's not at all about punishment and sin. Moses will not enter the land because his time is up. He lives 120 years. He lives the full life. All human beings are limited. On the other hand, his teachings are transmitted to his disciple Yoshua, and his teachings live on forever. All of Israel will obey and does what God commanded Moshe. And more importantly, the focus is on what he does see. Of course we're all limited, of course we can't have everything. It's part of being covenantal. We're part of a continuum, we're part of a process. The land that I gave to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, they too didn't realize the fulfillment of the promise. They lived out the promise. They were strangers and sojourners in the land but they didn't see the fulfillment of the promise. It's what it means to be covenantal. Moshe is covenantal like Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, but Moshe also sees the land. The focus is on the positive. So Tabracha is about blessings. It's about looking back at the 40 years of the desert in a positive sense. Much of sacred Devarim is Moshe's lecture, is Moshe's rebuke to the people. But in Zot Bracha, he looks back at the desert experience in the positive sense. How have we, we grown? What have we learned? How far we have come? And it's so appropriate that we read Bezot HaBracha, the holiday of Sukkot, in the words of the, of the time of the ingathering of the crops. On Yom Kippur, we look at the past year and say, what needs improvement? How can we change the past? How can we make the future better? On the holiday of Sukkot, we look at the past year and say, what good things happened? 
What successes can we build on? What were the positives of the past year? Chaga Asif. In that context, we are reading on the last day of Sukkot and Simchat Torah, we are reading the, the parsha of the blessings. And then we conclude by saying, in Moses' life itself is a blessing. And Moses did so much, and not only that, he could even see the future. He could even see all that he worked for in his life. He can cross over, of course, as a human being, but he can see the future. I have shown you, I've seen it with your own eyes. Shabbat Shalom.